Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. His name is My Wave, and guys, in the last video, I had created a drop-down menu where I put it some options like your account, your orders, wish list, and another register and login button. Now, in this video, I will create a slider. We are using the VX slider, which one is my one of the best lovely uh, slider plugin. Okay, now you can simply go to the install where you can find a documentation and yeah you can see that the easy way to f include your web slider to into your page so here is uh, some links and some script i'm already created a link that on um, my web slider dot status file into my php file and here is jquery and here is the web slider okay you can you can also uh, write a comment for that jquery file okay and this is one is vx slider minified js file okay now what is the next step for doing it better so you can simply copy this thing into your uh, wait yeah here is my navigation bar so after the navigation bar so i collapse that yeah after the navigation bar i create a, another comment okay write a comment slider area and take a div The class name is slider area and paste that code which one is already copied from the website. Okay. Now the next step is copy the script tag. Okay. Now copy this and copy and go to your main.js file which one is already connected to your index.php. So here is my main.js file. And paste that now control s to save and also save that yeah now again I'm back to my home page and refresh now as you can see that our slider is working on but now how can you put this image so you can simply delete that one day and delete this I write a anchor tag and hash and after the, in the anchor tag I put an image so I have an image in my file structure so in the HTTP docs we have e -com. yeah I have a folder which one which name is images in the images folder I have a slider folder and in the slider folder we have three images slider one slider two slider three okay so I give the source of that slider yeah slider one dot jpg okay I remove the alter tag for attribute okay now press the control s button and what is the next thing is yeah copy for three times okay control C to copy and paste for three times and change the name of image so slider 2 and here is slider 3 okay now press the control s button and check in the browser now as you can see that your slider is there ready but here is some problem and some mistakes for doing that it's not moving automatically you if you want to moving so you can you need to click on that so how can you solve this problem so you can simply go to your main.js file and take a function into the vx slider okay and the uh, auto colon true okay comma now which is the control s button again and check in the browser yeah just wait yeah as you can see that the slider is moving on now 
now set the system CSS styling of this slider image now now go to the CSS file style.css and now yeah I write another comment this is for slider area okay now dot slider hyphen area and the width is 100% oops and the height will be mm, 500 pixel okay now In, what is the next is okay it's time to change the styling of that image so in this slider area we have a slider day and in that we have IMG okay so what's happening with the images the width the image of sorry the width of image is also 100% and the height will be 500 pixel now Press the control S button and check in the browser. Now refresh. So as you can see that your image is successfully uh, working on it and the uh, width is also perfectly fixed that. Okay. Now okay. The next thing is remove the border. As you can see the here is some borders in the front, top, left, right and bottom so you can simply click on the inspect element and find the bx wrapper yeah here is the bx wrapper okay and as you can see that here is border okay so dot bx wrapper i copied that okay now i'm back to the my CSS file and press that and the border is none important okay now press the control s button and check in the browser refresh that so as you can see that the all borders from the around this uh, uh, slider around is removed now the second thing is Second thing is fix the that button into the your slider area. Where is that? I can't find them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, here is the bottom. And when I remove the minus, and this is that only 30 pixel in the positive mode. So as you can see, the the pagers and the navigation navigators are in the slider area. So I copy this all the thing copy and paste it and paste it and from the bottom is 30 pixel yeah it's important because we are override that okay now like this okay so I think that everything is now fixed and everything is looking good so now the next thing is so write some content into your slider area so how can you solder so it's we are working actually we need to working on the next video okay so I hope you learn how to make a slider with easily with a VX slider so now we meet you soon in the next video take care bye bye and stay with me happy coding